You know who we haven't spent a lot of time looking at is this snake down here. But I have one question. Why do they all have like smiley faces on their back? At first I thought somebody just brought in a marker and drew that on there, but when you look at the rest of them, they all have the smiley face. Sir, your new name is the Smiley Face Snake. Alright guys, we are back in Ohio. We are in North Canton on the strip at this Spirit Halloween right up here that used to be a Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave. I almost said that it used to be a Best Buy because it looks very, very similar to a Best Buy, but the Best Buy is actually down there beside the Office Max. I'm already having quite the crazy day today, so I definitely need some Spirit Halloween goodness to brighten my day. And then as I pulled in, I realized I'm gonna have to buy some new tires for the Hummer because look at this crap. What in the world? My tire is torn. What the heck is that all about? It doesn't appear to be losing air, but that's gonna cost some serious big bucks because Hummer tires are not cheap. On top of that, I just released my brand new for 2023 Halloween t-shirts, say hello to the secret keeping cat, and promptly I was notified that the artist who drew the shirts used copyrighted images on one of the shirts, so I had to completely pull the spooky tree shirt. What in the world? I am not happy about that. But I am happy to be right here at the Spirit Halloween in North Canton, Ohio. And I just cleaned out the back end of the Hummer in case I find something huge that I just can't live without. All right, let's go on in, guys, and see what we can find in North Canton, Ohio at this awesome spirit in the old Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave. Thank you, automatic doors. Oh yeah, guys, this is exactly what I need right now. An enormous spirit Halloween to get Halloween-y and spooky. And holy crap, look at the ginormous pile of animatronics back here for sale. Okay, here's what I want, guys. This is what I really, 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 really want. So Spirit Halloween, if you're watching, you see this wall of t-shirts? I want the secret keeping cat shirt on that wall. If you guys could buy Nate Guy t-shirts at Spirit Halloween, would you? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's get this started and say hello to some of our friends. Let's say hello to Leatherface first. Hello, Leatherface. Oh my gosh, the background sounds are so loud you can't even hear the, uh, the chainsaw going. Okay, now you can hear it. All right, let's move on over to Papa Pins. Hello, Papa. All right, let's get him going here. Oh my gosh, guys, I love how it is so loud and chaotic sounding in here right now. How crazy is that? All right, let's go on through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery because I want to take another look at this Martian warrior over here. This guy is totally awesome. And somebody was talking the other day about how to store him because his head is so big. <laughs> Sir, you have a very big head. All right, let's take a walk right around here. We got gorgeous George waiting for us here. Hello, George. I know, right? All right, let's keep on going here and take a look at Slim. All right, Mr. Slim, come on now, come on. Look how skinny his head is. For some reason in this store, he looks so skinny in the head. <laughs> All right, let's come over and say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe how many animatronics they have over here. We're gonna look at them in just a second here. Well, let's go on in and continue saying hello to our friends here. Let's start with, oh, there's Dagger Mike already jumping at us. Hello, Mr. Mike. All right, let's come on over here to the sitting scarecrow. Let's see if his sensor is on, yes. Oh, he didn't scream, what the heck? Sir, are you being silent today? We're getting the silent treatment from the scary sitting scarecrow. 
All right, somehow I only ended up having 10 stickers with me today. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. I ended up only having 10 stickers with me today, so I have to be very choosy about where I leave them. There's one for Mr. Scary Sitting Scarecrow, even though he's giving us the silent treatment. And hello, Grim. You know what? I've never given Grim a sticker. Let's see. Yes, his finger will hold it right there. What the heck? Wait, let's turn it back up. There we go. <laughs> the Nate guy sticker right there being held by Grim's arm. <laughs> All right, let's come on out here, guys, and take a look at this ginormous stack of animatronics here. Oh my gosh, they have so many. All right, right off the bat, we have Emmeline. And not only do we have one, but we have one, two, three Emmelines. We have a Hot Nozzles. We have two Young Crouchies, two The Widows, two Strawmans, a whole stack of sitting scarecrows. We have two, actually I think we have three Little Jack Carvers there. We have scary sitting scarecrows. We have the 55 inch floor candelabras. Those aren't actually animatronics, but they are cool. We have three of the Black Hearts. We have an Eternal Rest here, right on top of the Howling Spirit. And look at this, guys. We have a Cauldroness. I've only ever seen the Cauldroness set up in one store, guys, and I believe it was the last store I did in Montana. And if you haven't been following along, Montana is the 45th state that I have filmed Spirit Halloween in. Five more states, and I will have filmed Spirit Halloween in every state across the entire United States of America. Will I make it to Hawaii and Alaska? You guys stay tuned and you'll see. But getting back to the animatronics, we have Darling Dolly here. In fact, it looks like we have one, two. We have three Darling Dollies. We have at least four, five, maybe even six Bubbas here. We have two Slims, two Stilts. So look at this. We have two more Eternal Rests. And on the end, we have two Leather Faces. Very, very cool. This is awesome, guys. I am here so early today that I have like full reign of the entire store. Makes me think about the Spirit Halloween movie where the kids go into the abandoned Spirit Halloween store, which was filmed in Rome, Georgia, and I filmed that one as well. And is available to be watched on Shudder right now. And speaking of shuddering, I'm about to shudder because here is a scary, spooky guy that we know as the Hexpawn. Come on, Hexpawn. Here we go. <laughs> You gotta love the hex spawn, guys. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am not a horns guy, and he has horns, but he is fast and he is scary. All right, let's pass the hex spawn and come on over here and check out this howling fellow. He's very short in here. Usually he's like really tall and he's way up here, but he's kind of short in here. Here lies Lord Farquaad. I see our gargoyle is working. How cool is that? And I was under the impression you could only buy him in the store, but you can actually get on the website and order him if you want one. Okay, I hear the eternal rest going over here, but the head is not spinning. Is this for eternal rest or is it? Oh, this is Dolly. Okay. All right, Dolly, give me your stuff. All right. Thank you for your stuff. <laughs> I guess you can have your PS2 back. It's on top of the fridge. All right. We got Gordo here. Let's get him going. Come on, Gordo. Come on. Uh-oh. Is Gordo not going to work for us? I don't think Gordo's going to work. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he played a trick on me. That's silly, Gordo. Let's leave you a sticker. All right, we got the Blackheart here. Come on, Mr. Blackheart. Wow, he is loud. Wouldn't it figure, as soon as he starts talking, Eternal Rest starts screaming. What in the world? Okay, sir, I'm sorry we couldn't hear you today. I do like hearing her scream back there. <laughs> We got the Grave Watcher here. We got little Skelly Bones. Come on, Skelly, are you gonna work? Yep, I see the light up eyes. Here he goes. Come on, Skelly, come on. All right, there we go. We got Desmodus. Uh-oh, looks like he's having some problems here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Desi. There we go. He actually worked pretty good. I didn't think he was gonna work since he has that little split going on there. And of course, we have the Jumping Spider. Uh-oh, the Jumping Spider appears to not be working. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay. 
I don't know, maybe he's not plugged in or something. If any of you have inside street knowledge of Spirit Halloween, let me know if something else was originally supposed to go behind those doors, because it just doesn't quite seem right that there would only be a jumping spider in that giant area there. All right, we're gonna come back and look at the mask section in just a minute here, but it looks like they have a couple of talking dolls that we haven't seen in other stores at least so much this year. And one of those would be the pumpkin nester doll right here, and the other would be hugs. And look at this, I'm surprised they have one, two, I think they have two hugs there. These two don't seem to be very popular this year, Devilish Desmond and Loving Lilith. Even though they are very cool and they're very vintage looking, I think people generally go more for the ones that are styled after the animatronics. All right, let's take a look at the masks here because people have been showing online where there is a new Rob Zombie Halloween mask. It's not that one, and it's not this one or this one. If they have it, it is more than likely over in the actual Halloween Michael Myers section, but let's just take a look here just in case. Here's this guy with the Pinocchio nose. Right beside him is the Barfamet. Oh, we got Leatherface here, and we got this pig moving mouth mask, which is pretty cool. Jesus! I don't see any other Michael Myers, though, except for what's on the end here, and we've already seen those. So if they have it, it'll be over in the Michael Myers section, and we'll get there in just a minute. First, I want to come over here and check out these guys. I love the hanging guys. I love when they have these displays in the middle of the store of all the hanging guys. We got this spooky hanging clown, which... Oh, he's not working, but if he worked, I believe he shakes and his li eyes light up. We have the spooky dead bride. We have the stakeable scarecrow here. Let's see if he, um, now nah, I can't get him to light up either, but he is pretty cool. The hanging rotten pumpkin. Oh, he lights up. Yeah, look at that. You can kind of see the light inside his mouth there. We got this hanging pumpkin guy. He lights up too, but you can barely see. Oh, he's talking as well but he's so quiet you can't hear it. We got the hanging ghost face here, the hanging bad breath. Y'all need some Tic Tacs. I'm pretty sure you have gum disease and I'm pretty sure you have no gum disease. <laughs> they have a whole plethora of the zombie babies here, but once again, I don't see any burrito babies. Excuse me, miss, does that brain taste like a burrito? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some more hanging fellows over here, including Sam and Frankenstein. Dang, look how big his hands are. His hands seem like they're way big for the size of his head. We have the Sam sitting dolls over here. We have a couple of Annabelles. We have these Chuckies, but I don't see the regular Chuckies. Oh, wait a minute. He's peeking out on the other side. So he's over there and there may even be a Glen over there. But let's first take a look at the Sinister Spirit doll, which looks so absolutely spooky. Do they have a Glen doll? Here we go, let's find out. No, I don't see one. I do see the good guys down here, and I see two more Annabelles, but no Glenn. I do see the Pennywise Tiny Terror, though. He's pretty cool, and usually he's been sold out in the other stores, which is kind of surprising, because I would expect Ghostface to be the one that's sold out. I don't even see Leatherface or Sam Tiny Terrors in here. They have four Ghost Faces and one Pennywise. They do have the Popcorn Clown statue, which is pretty cool. They do have the Child's Play Jack in the Box statue, which I'm kind of surprised doesn't do anything except sit there and make sound. I don't know, maybe once you take him out of the package, his head like bobbles around since it's on a spring. If any of you have bought that, let me know. We got the Hocus Pocus Winnie statue here, as well as the Pennywise statue over here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I was wrong. Look at this, guys. They actually do have the Sam Tiny Terrors down here, hiding under the bottom shelf. They have plenty of Sam Sidesteppers. We got the Chucky Sidestepper, the Ghost Face Sidestepper. We have Frankenstein Sidesteppers and the spiky sidestepper. Oh, and we have the Leatherface sidestepper. Hmm, where is the secret keeping cat? I don't see the secret keeping cat. I don't see the creeping cats. Maybe up here. I don't see scabs. I don't see carrots. What the heck? I do see the whole plethora of plushies up here. That's cool. I totally forgot that I bought this guy. I think I bought him in maybe Las Vegas. I don't know, do you guys remember? I do love these SpongeBob and Patrick slippers. I don't think they would fit me, but those are pretty dang awesome. 
I'm ready! Yeah! Of course, there are a ton of fleece throws and bouncy pillows. I don't see any throws that I haven't seen. At least, I don't think so. Let me take a closer look over here. Just hold on now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen all of these, but I gotta say, these are so cool. The Crouchy and the Nightcrawler. Okay, let's come on out here and wait a minute. Look at this. This is an inflatable Grinch costume. This is hilarious, guys. I love this so much. I know it's not Halloween, it's Christmas, but it's the Grinch. All right, let's head back this way and see if the secret keeping... Oh, yes, here they are. We've got the creeping cats on top. Hello, fellows. We've got scabs and three carrots. We've got three carrots surrounding scabs here. Is there something going on that I'm not aware of? It looks like they're preparing their attack. We've also got these two best friends down here right beside the secret keeping cat. I should make a mini secret keeping cat shirt for this guy right here. <laughs> Would you like that, sir? Oh, wait, let me guess. It's a secret. You know who we haven't spent a lot of time looking at is this snake down here. But I have one question. Why do they all have, like, smiley faces on their back? At first, I thought somebody just brought in a marker and drew that on there. But when you look at the rest of them, they all have the smiley face. Sir, your new name is the smiley face snake. So they have a whole bunch of the step pads here, and I've actually considered buying a bunch of them since I have so many animatronics now. They're $10.99 each, and I would probably need about 30 of them. Oh, this one down here actually has a 20-foot cord on it. All right. And that one's $9.99. So this one's a dollar less and it has a 10-foot longer cord on it. Why do you need a 20-foot cord, you ask? Well, you remember the one store that I came in and they had this hidden underneath like the doormat thing? And I stepped on it as I walked in and the animatronics were way up here. And then they went off by the time I got up to them. That's exactly why you want that long cord. Here's all the inflatables over here and how cool is this guys they have both the giant 12 foot ghost face which i like so much more since i saw him blown up in the one store they have the 12 foot pennywise they have the 12 foot jumbo here he's got to be enormous oh and look at this i never noticed that he's actually holding the pie <laughs> they also have the 20 foot snake they have the scary clown archway the scarecrow archway which i haven't seen in a lot of stores but i really like him they got the fright in the box up here of course we have the hello rat we have the ghost we have haunted trees gargoyles reapers we have uh let's see here tombstones secret keeping cats we have wolves here the jack-o-lantern archway on the bottom there, the scarecrow, did I already say that guy? The wolfman, and I don't think I pointed out the jack-o-lantern stack yet. I'm very, very tempted to get the ghost face today, guys. I just might, I don't know. $179.99, I do have a 20% off coupon in my pocket. That would take off almost 40 bucks. And like I said, he is so much bigger than I ever expected him to be. I don't remember which store he was in, but it was in a mall and it was set out like right at the entrance and it was just enormous. All right, let's take a look down here before we go. Let's see, all right, we got this guy here who kind of looks like the possessed pumpkin. We have this guy here who looks like the white possessed pumpkin. <laughs> I like this purple one here that's kind of like a witch. I like how the stem of the pumpkin is the nose. We got these guys and 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 these guys. And they have the ham hocks for sale. <laughs> they have the live wires here, which like to electrify my face. These are $49.99 each. I actually do need some more of these. I'd like to have about five more. I have one at home. But that would be 250 bucks to buy five more of those. I don't know if that's worth electrifying my face. All right, let's leave one sticker with the ham hock for sale. Make sure if you come in looking for one, you don't miss it with your one eye. All right, let's make our way over to the Michael Myers section over here and see if we can find that new 
Rob Zombie mask. All right, here we go. I see the Scream ghost face section. And yes, look guys, it's right up front here. Rob Zombie Halloween. That is the new mask that everybody has been talking about. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge Rob Zombie fan. I loved the band White Zombie, but I'm really not a fan of his Halloween movies. So this mask is cool, but it really is nothing that I would personally buy. I'm not even that big of a Halloween 2018 fan, but I really do like this mask here. So if I had to choose between the two, it would definitely be the 2018. All right, wait a minute. I was thinking about getting that inflatable, but how much is Emmeline? Emmeline is $279.99. Again, I have that 20% off coupon. I really do want her. I just don't know if I'm ready to buy her. I also want nozzles. I never bought nozzles last year. I should just pick that guy up right now. All right, I think I'm pretty well settled on that inflatable because it's just so awesome. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up today. But first, I have a couple more stickers to leave. Let's leave one right there by the secret keeping cat. Let's leave one for the monkey chimes. Let's leave one for the moving mouth pig. One in the cauldron. And let's leave one for Chucky. All right, that about does it, guys. I'm gonna grab this ghost face inflatable right over here. Where the heck is it? Right there. <laughs> and if you want to see this inflated in all its glory, come over to my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween, where I'm going to be blowing him up very soon. Yeah.